But no one likes our reviews because they're too critical. <laughs> I think it's good to be critical, to be honest. I think this so is too. the only way that these products are going to improve, and they just have to deal with the negative. Right. Uh, it's. I mean, it's not even really. It's usually constructive criticism, which right. is the point. Right. It's, it's not like, like I just go into a review and I'm like, I hate them because their logo's orange. Uh -huh. Second, Proton's themes look great, but as someone who switches between light and dark theme automatically, it's silly for Proton to not have a system theme option, especially when their apps have this. My final major complaint is how Proton Mail handles multiple accounts on the web. To switch between accounts, you leave the main UI to enter the account switcher, then select a different account, which is wildly inconvenient. All accounts should just be listed in one place, just copy the mobile apps. All right, up next, parental controls. This is probably my favorite tab of NextDNS, low key. Now, I will say, and I always have to rant about this, I really hate how it's branded as parental controls because I am not a parent, nor am I a child. And I love this tab because it allows me to have a better relationship with my devices because I want to establish boundaries with myself. Next DNS, if you ever watch this, just, I don't know, rename this to anything else. Usability wise, just strictly there, it's just Firefox's browser with added custom search engines and some disabled telemetry and a low quality icon that's very sadly noticeable. I still take some issue with the term sustainable phone as it's still built using many harmful materials. Though, yes, it is, I guess, better than your average smartphone. And Fairphone has many other selling points regarding their supply chain and where they source things and all of the more social impacts, which are important as well. Lineage OS, and by extension, any forks of Lineage, like Yode, are victim to a common Lineage OS issue, which is Lineage tends to be slower to update to the major versions of Android. At the time of scripting this in mid-January 2023, I'm now recording this in late January and I think it's still the same, um, Yode OS is officially still on Android 12, like Lineage with an Android 13 build in beta. While Android 12 is still getting security updates, there are privacy and security improvements in Android 13, and Android 13 has been out since August of 2022, and other ROMs have had support for Android 13 as early as September of 2022. So the fact we're in January 2023 and still running Android 12 means you're kind of missing out on any new privacy and security features in the newest major releases of Android.